thanks to the Federal Reserve, a lot of our holiday shopping just got more expensive. Thursday's interest rate hike means unless you pay off your balance in full, everything you buy with a credit card will cost you a quarter percentage point more. Problem solver Connie Thompson says over time, that small increase could have a big impact on your budget. Connie? Yes, it could, Mary. What we have to keep in mind is this quarter of a percentage point rate hike is the first of what could be several more interest rate increases next year. If you keep a balance on credit card accounts, higher interest rates make it more critical than ever to pay them off. The cumulative effect on this could pile up pretty quickly. I dialed up credit analyst Greg McBride on Skype. How would that work immediately on my credit card balance? So that quarter of a percentage point is going to show up on your credit card statement. You're going to see your rate go up a quarter of a percentage point probably within the next 60 days. With the Federal Reserve primed to hit us with at least three more rate hikes next year, McBride says switching credit cards can help you pay off your balance interest-free. Grab a 0% balance transfer offer or another one of those low rate offers. So you buy yourself a window of time where you've got a low fixed rate and you can pay off that debt once and for all. Just be careful. The balance transfer fees can be steep. The zero interest period is only for a limited time. You'll pay interest on all new purchases, and the bulk of your payment can be applied to the balance with the highest interest rate. This is also a good time for homeowners with adjustable rate mortgages to consider switching to a fixed rate loan. That adjustable rate mortgage is really subject to change based on where interest rates go, and there's a whole lot of uncertainty on that front. And because of that certainty, if you have a home equity line of credit, your interest rate is about to go up too. And again, a quarter of a percentage point may only boost your payments by a few dollars a month now, but those payments will jump every time the Fed raises rates next year. So keep an eye on your balances owed and make sure your budget can handle the hit from higher payments in the future. Back to you. Thank you, Connie.